Hello and welcome to the Fat Boss Guide to Goroth in the Tomb of Sargeras. So it's finally out, it's nice to be back, progressing once again. And today we talk about the first boss of the instance, which is Goroth. This single phase encounter revolves around the idea of using pillars in order to deal with all the boss's mechanics. Now these pillars spawn throughout the fight each time the boss casts Infernal Spike. This will cause a few patches to spawn under the location of random ranged players, and a few moments later, a large pillar will erupt out the ground, dealing damage and knocking back any players as they appear. So as soon as they spawn, you want to make sure you move out of their location. You generally want these pillars to spawn close to one another around the middle of the room, so typically this is where you'll want to stand as a ranged player or a healer. Now it's vital that you tank Goroth away from these pillars at all times, as he will destroy them with his hitbox if he comes into contact with them. Now the primary reason why you want these pillars so close to each other is because of the Shattering Star. On a timer, the boss will mark a player, face an arrow towards them, and then 6 seconds later he'll send out a large bowling ball that will fly out of the boss towards the player. Now this bowling ball deals large damage and knockbacks any players along its path, and once it finally reaches the marked player, it will deal a burst of raid-wide damage. This final burst of raid-wide damage is actually reduced for each pillar the ball travels through and destroys along its path. So to keep raid damage low, as soon as you're targeted with the Shattering Star, it's vital that you stand behind at least one pillar just to reduce the damage. However, if you can make it hit two or even three pillars, that's even better. But you can't destroy all of the pillars because the entire raid will need to hide behind them when the boss casts Infernal Burning. This is a super long cast that once it finishes, the boss will do a burst of damage, knock back, and place a hard hitting dot on all players who are not hid behind a pillar. This cast will also destroy every single pillar in the room after it's finished, so ranged players need to quickly get back to the middle of the room to spawn pillars in good locations again. If you're in a situation where you have no pillars for whatever reason, one thing you can do is just stack up in one big clump underneath the boss and pop things like Darkness, Spirit Link, and just loads of cooldowns just to survive the hit. It is more than possible, but it's not particularly ideal. Now, the rest of the boss's abilities will try and destroy the pillars. It is vital that you don't mess these up, otherwise you might run out of pillars and not have any for the Infernal Burning or the Shattering Star. Now, throughout the fight, the boss will often mark three random non-tank players with Crashing Comet. Once they're marked, after a few seconds, they will explode, dealing damage and applying a dot to all players within 10 yards, and this explosion also destroys the pillars. So when you get this, you just need to move at least 10 yards away from other players, but more importantly, pillars. The dot that you gain isn't too crazy, but healers will just need to keep an eye on you. For your tanks, you need to watch out for burning armor. When the boss applies this to you, it's just a 6 second hard hitting dot that will explode when it expires. This explosion deals a large burst of damage, but also leaves a debuff on you that increases the damage you take by 200%. The targeting circle will also destroy any pillars. So as soon as this debuff is applied to you, you need to make sure that the other tank taunts, and you move out the raid and make sure no pillars and no players are within your targeting circle. By the time the next burning armor has been applied to the other tank, you can simply taunt back and your debuff would have dropped. And they're all the abilities that you'll need to worry about for normal mode. However, on heroic mode, there is one additional ability that you need to deal with, which is fell eruption. Throughout the encounter, randomly selected quarters of the room will become filled with fire. Now this fire deals damage if you stand within it, so of course you don't want to do that, but it also destroys any pillars within that quarter as it spawns. Because of this, it's vital that all ranged players and healers make sure they're spread equally in all four quarters of the room. That way, when one section of the room becomes coated in fire, it doesn't matter if any of the pillars are destroyed there, as there will always be pillars in other quarters of the room. Now, this fire can come in at pretty horrible times. As an example, it can come in just before an infernal burning is cast. If you don't react to the fire quick enough, Potentially you're going to stand behind a pillar and then it's instantly going to be destroyed by a fire and then you're going to die to the infernal burning cast. However, if you keep an eye on the sides of the room, you'll actually notice that the pools of lava will bubble up and then the fire will spawn. So you can use this information to make sure that you do not use a pillar that is about to be destroyed. Now as the fight goes on, the fire will come in progressively faster and faster, leaving you in situations where almost half the room is coated rather than just a quarter. Providing you just keep placing the pillars in all four quarters of the room, you'll be absolutely fine. And that's it for this boss. Thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy this video, then make sure you leave a like on it. It helps us out a lot. And of course, if you want to read up about this boss or just go over any of the abilities in text form, then go and check out our WoW head guide. The link for that is in the description below. Also, a huge shout out to all of our supporters over on Patreon who allow us to make these guides. We really do appreciate the support. Thank you so, so much. And once again, guys, thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. Take care.